Lot Polish Airlines for a long time has been attempting to improve and modernize, try and compete with other larger European flag carriers. But has this worked? To find out, I take a flight on Lot from Riga Airport in Latvia to Lot's home in the Polish capital of Warsaw in Poland. To find out just how good Lot is. Today we're on Lot, the Polish flag carrier, from Riga to Warsaw. Now I just want to see how they are because I've seen several reviews, fairly mixed reviews, so I want to see how they are. So anyway, I won't waste any more time, let's get over to the airport, let's go. For those of you that don't know, Lot is the national airline and flag carrier of Poland. With 74 aircraft in their fleet and just 11 on order, they are by no means the biggest in Europe. But this has not stopped them from having massive ambitions for the future. With the vast bulk of their fleet being made up of the Embraer E-Jet aircraft, that is what we are going to fly today. Thank you, sir. Arriving into Riga Airport, the largest airport in Latvia, we start our journey over to Poland. So here we are, Riga Airport. Just need to get checked in and then go through security. Need to get checked in. Not sure if I can do it here or if I can still do it online. If I can still do it online, that would be a massive help. So I'm just going to check the app and then we'll go through security. Riga itself is the home of Air Baltic, one of the fastest growing airlines in Europe. Okay, so good news for us. I've just checked the app and I have been able to check in online still. It closes in 20 minutes for the actual check-in. So now that's done, let's go through security. So let's go. Okay, that is us through security. And of course, now you know what time it is. We're going to get through duty-free, but it is, of course, coffee time. So let's go find somewhere where we can get a coffee. And of course, if you want to buy me my cup of coffee and support the channel, the link to my Patreon is down below. All the support you give goes straight back into the channel and it helps so much. So it's down there below. But of course, the best support you can give is just by subscribing and commenting on the video. That support alone helps the channel so much. This airport, I think, has my mecca. I mean, they must have known I was coming. I mean, the name of this place, this coffee shop, is just for me. Thank you. Though I love coffee, coffee is not the only reason to love this cafe. The views of the apron are amazing from here. And if you're a bit of a plane spotter, Riga is the European spiritual home of the Airbus A220. You'll see plenty here. Once I had finished my coffee and charged my cameras, it was time to head to the gate. Okay, coffee's been had. Let's go to the gate and get our flight. Sun's just setting just now. Um, looks like it might be a night flight. Okay, found the gate. Looks like we're at gate B9, which looks like it's going to be a bus gate today. Um, no jet bridge. Um, but yeah, it's downstairs, gate B9. Um, and it's an Embraer 170 that we're flying on today. While waiting at the gate, our aircraft arrived on its inbound flight from Warsaw. This Embraer E175. Okay, so our plane has just arrived and the gate has changed to 7B. So it, I think we'll be boarding soon because the plane will just disembark and then we'll all get on board. Once the plane had been disembarked, business class passengers were called for boarding first, then the rest of us in economy were called for boarding. Boarding now. Seems to be a pretty full flight today. See how much space we've got. Let's see if we've got a road to ourselves. It'd be pretty good if we get a road to ourselves, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky today. Getting on board Lot's E-175, both economy and business classes are laid out in a 2-2 configuration for seating, with business class seating being slightly larger. Looking around the seat, there is a large tray table and plenty of legroom, even with my bag under the seat in front. And once everyone was settled and the safety demo given, we were pushed back from the gate for our flight over to Poland.
Taking off out of Riga International Airport, we begin our 1 hour 20 flight over to Warsaw in Poland. After passing through the clouds and cruising through the evening sky, the crew started the pre-order meal service. I pre-ordered this light lunch, and I'm genuinely impressed that Lot give the option to pre-order meals in economy on such short flights within Europe, which is in contrast to the majority of airlines in Europe. Soon, we were passing through the Sawalki Gap, a narrow strip of land connecting the Baltic states to the rest of the European Union, sandwiched between both Belarus and Russia's Kaliningrad. Soon, the crew also came around with a complimentary drink and snack service giving out a blueberry bun and I went for a coffee to drink. Not long after this it was time to commence our descent into Warsaw Chopin Airport. Landing into Warsaw, in some beautiful sunset light, we pull up to a remote stand concluding our flight on Lot Polish Airlines. And all that's left to do is to give you my thoughts on Lot. So hang about and I'll tell you once we get into the terminal. I'll also tell you how much this flight cost. Getting into the terminal here at Chopin, what can I say about Lot? Now I know their business class product has had a lot of scrutiny over the past couple of years, so I can't speak to that. But personally, for the economy product, I thought they were great. The staff were amazing and friendly. The seat and food were great. Overall, it's just a good experience and a good product. And this flight cost me £89 one way, which I think is great value. But let me know your thoughts. And if you like this video on Lot, then you should check out this video here. And as always, we will see you all in the next one.